Hello watch fans! Berthier watches here and this time for you we have a 1967 Eternomatic 2000 Centenaire. Now this is one of the favourite watches I've had in from the last few weeks. It's not the most expensive by a long chalk. I just really like it. It's not had. We've had loads of Centenaires. They're a good popular watch. First launched in 56 for the company's Centenary. Then in 61 they bought out another range and they were going right through to the 70s called Centenaire. This is 1967, we can tell that from the movement. Uh, that was the first year this movement was made as well. But this just wears really well. It's a good size, it's 40 micron gold plated. So even on the corners, it's looking very good for its age. Dial looks very crisp, all original. You've got the quick set date which you pull to set. You see that working there. Signed crown. The strap's new, the buckle's not eternal, it's not an eternal strap. But I do like this fixing at the back. This is a three piece case. Let's see if it will turn my fingers. It won't. But I'm going to take an attempt to take this apart. See these lobes, each end? They're now free. So this part comes off and then this part comes out as a capsule. Now that glass or acrylic will come off, it is the original acrylic, it's signed in the centre. But if you look inside you still can't get to the movement which has kept everything nice and clean. And it might just put one or two more amateur people from taking it apart, which has probably benefited the watch in the long run. I think I should probably, there we go. So that goes through there, that goes on there, and then you just tighten it up, the turn and lock. I haven't seen that style of case before, seen similar but not that style. Yeah, as I say, this just wears really well. Really well, good size. It's just over, I think it's 32 millimeters, which for a square watch is quite big. There's wrist shots on the website. Got a nice movement inside. Obviously it's an Eterna movement. Eterna made all their own movements in this period. And it's a handsome thing. I've never seen this model before, this particular square model. Doesn't mean to say they're not all out there, but I just haven't seen one. But as I've said before, if I see something that I've not seen before and I like it, I buy it. I'd rather have buyer's remorse occasionally than damn I missed out on that very often. I have neither with this watch. You can see more on this if you hit the subscribe button, no I'm only kidding, you can subscribe, you're welcome, we'd like to have you, but if you hit the link in the pinned comment or head straight to berthierwatches.com. We've got the movement shots there where I've taken it down a bit further. Thanks for watching.